Welcome everyone. Today we are going to see how to use transform method in NXCAM. Transform method is normally used to in case we have a multiple parts at a time we plan to manufacturing we can use this transform method or otherwise same profile in multi, same profile in multiple places we have means we can use this transform method. Now here we plan to prepare a models first. Now we sketch the rectangular as per our requirement dimensions we planned. Example we only prepared the 500 mm length and 300 mm width plug. We plan to set the work coordinate system at the center of that rectangle. So 500 divided by 250 and 300 divided by 150. We make it center of the work coordinate system. That is WCS. Now we plan to go to draw a circle the middle of this profile we make it the 80 dia circle and finish the sketch now we plan to extrude the sketches the rectangular square select it in extruded we can make that the block height at 60 and again select the circular of the 80 we need to subtract from the rectangular square block rectangle block subtract the die 80 board click ok So in this model we have a 500 into 300 into 60 square rectangular black and middle of the 80 dia bore available. We plan to pattern this 80 bore by using pattern face. Select the pattern face which face we need to pattern multiple pattern we plan to do. We select that face then here we have a pattern definition of layout here which which type we need we can plan for as per our requirement now we are plan to check, check out the linear concept so select the linear first we need to select the direction one we plan to select the direction of x plus directions so we set that here we spacing concept we can able to customize as per our requirement now we plan to add the count and switch i plan to uh, Add the pitch distance is 100 and count of 3. So here our hole to 2 extra, so 3 holes available. We can make it at symmetric that we have helps to make it a similar distance and similar counts at another opposite symmetric direction also. Then next one we plan to create a hole at and direction 2. We select the vector, the same type of spacing of count and pitch we select it and that pitch distance and count we can set it the count of 2 and pitch distance of 100 we can make it at symmetric so here we get it direction 1 at 3 uh, three a count and pitch distance is 100 at a symmetric and it direction 2 we set it count of 2 and the pitch distance of 100 which make it symmetric here overall holes are we kept it so these all holes are equally spaced with 100 mm distance right this one holds to another holds having a 100 mm distance so we plan to make a tool path and get these things the same dimensions with the equal specific distance we make it a transformation by using nx cam here now we plan to go to the nx manufacturing we plan to create a mill planner setup and go to the 
German review. As per our regular procedure, we plan to set the machine coordinate system first. Here now we plan to set the machine coordinate system at the left side first bore or middle of that first bore. So we can set it that the machine coordinate system at this hole. Then click OK. And the next step is create a specific part on specific plant. We need to select it and work face. Go to the work face and right click on it, edit. We need to specify the part and click OK. Then need to select the specific plant. Here we plan to select the specific plant at Founded box. So already we have a founded box. We select that profile specific part founded box That's a raw material Now we plan to create a operation Here we have a mill planner type and this sub, sub type of operation we select the floor and wall We select that If you need to know the clear explanation of how to use floor and wall concept in NX? The video link in description. We you can check it out. That helps you to create a, how to use the floor and wall concept. Here now we need to select the specified floor area. Click OK. As floor areas bottom of the profile part we select it. Then wall geometry also we need to select it. Now we plan to select the only one hole at the specify wall geometry then as per our setup we plan to create a tool create new tool here we plan to create a dia 50 mil give name of that tool and Give the dimensions of the specified tool and tool number, adjust digital, custom registration, all those things we can customize in this tab. And holder also we can able to create it the lower diameter of the hole and length, upper diameter, taper angle, corner radius, all those things we can able to control and create the tool holder. Now we plan to select the profile in cut pattern. So which type we need we can able to control to using the cut patterns and the step over also we can able to control and generate the tool path. Now this the tool path is cannot be able to create because the tool axis is wrongly available so we change the tool axis at here plus zm axis and it need to add the floor plank thickness the how much thickness this model available or raw material available we can able to add there and the depth of we can plan to give then generate the tool part here we get the tool path here raw material thickness is more than our recommend available we can able to control it here the yearly is two process runnings because of we prepared the model that's 60 mm blank thickness but in this while creating the floor and wall profile they are blank thickness we can create at 80 mm so that only that three passes is extendable we, we can able to change that flower plank thickness as per our drawn model we plan to create the plank thickness of 60 and make it a depth of cut 5 mm now we can regenerate the tool path 
here we get the tool path as per our raw material thickness right here one only one path only we get it and the all other holes are equally spaced at 100 mm distance right we already know that so every holes are having a 100 mm distance from the one hole to another hole so that tool path we can make it a transformer 100 mm distance in linear, linear directions now we plan to check out the distance as per the exact dimension Here we have a hole to hole at 100 mm distance, right? In x direction also we have a 100 mm distance from the first hole and the y direction also we have a 100 mm distance from the first hole. So we need to transform this plan to transform the tool, tool path with 100 mm distance, right? Now we need to reselect the toolpath already prepared major toolpath and go to the object. Here in this ob object tab we have a transform type. So we need to select the transform. Here in this type we have a multiple process. As per our requirement we can able to translate scale, rotate about the point, rotate about line, mirror the circular and rectangular all those things we can able to control transform the toolpath now we plan to use this rectangular array toolpath here first we need to specify the point reference point we need to select the first whole point then we select the array curve points and set the number of number along x x c and number along yc actually that is x direction coordinates and y direction coordinates we can select it and xc offset and yc offset is x x x axis direction distance and y axis direction distance so we need to set the x axis directions 100 mm as we already we plan to prepare the model is 100 mm distance and y axis also 100 mm distance so that we can select it 100 mm distance of both axis and number of alongs we can count it in x axis 5 holes available and y axis 3 holes available we can select that and need to verify that this preview we can see that in all the tool path is as per our plan is transform into multiple tool path right in single tool path to multiple tool path is prepared In case we plan to prepare the multiple products and multiple components at a time, we, we can use this transform method. We can able to transform the same profile path at a multiple places. It's totally same time saving process of CAM programming at a same part or same profiles. Here you can see that all the profiles are transformed as per our planned distance. Now we plan to verify the toolpath. In this transform method is mostly useful to make a multiple products at a time 
we plan to do that means we can use this transform at a single path is generating is enough and all those parts are we can able to transform it we can use the same cycle tool tool path as a multiple distances so here the tool path is same but the coordinates values only changed as per our planned transformation distance right Thanks for watching. Keep supporting us. Keep learning with us. Subscribe to RK CatCam.